Hello, my name is Hans Schmitz and I'm an agricultural meteorologist with the Purdue Cooperative Extension Service in Gibson County, Indiana. As a farmer, you are going to have to make a decision at some point if you're interested in measuring the weather over your fields, especially if they're not your home fields or things that you can see out of your back window. You're going to have to decide whether you would like to go with a service that predicts the precipitation that has fallen over your field and sends that to you via email or you're going to have to decide whether you would like to set up a personal weather station somewhere near that field and have it take the recordings and transmit that data to you. The advantages of a personal weather station are that you generally have a more accurate reading of whatever weather variable you would like to measure. You also have a chance to fix things if you notice that they go awry because you have physical instrumentation. The drawback of a personal weather station is the cost. Generally for something that a farmer could use and rely on, we're talking about total equipment of greater than $1,000 in cost, probably looking more like the two dollars to $5,000 price range for equipment that you can rely on. Now the advantage of using a service to predict the amount of moisture that has fallen at your location and send that to you generally is a little less reliable. It's going to use weather stations around you that could be a few miles away and they are going to ground truth what they are using to predict which is going to be the radar sensitivity over your location. So when you look at the radar on a weather forecast and you see the green and red and purple bands, it uses that amount of decibels, that amount of sensitivity, in order to estimate the amount of moisture that's going to fall on your field. This can be useful. It's relatively inexpensive. However, it doesn't have the accuracy that you would find in investing in a good personal weather station. Mm -hmm.